Chase. Y- yes. Love Actually. We need to talk about that. Good wow. mythical Manitoba morning. Wow. I want you to animate that with... Uh, 7.25 in the evening, actually. I want you to animate that Stop with it. fire coming out of a bird. Mm-hmm. Just like Good Mythical Morning. Yeah. But we'll trademark it, so they'll have to pay <laughs> us those pieces of crap. <laughs> Why? Because they make millions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be our first Christmas spooktacular. I don't... Spooktacular? <laughs> and <laughs> Spooky. And I thought maybe because it is the Christmas season, we could talk about a Christmas movie. The holiday season. we got to be oh. inclusive. We do, except for Muslims. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> we should hate all races alright yeah then we're all equal even my own well especially your own yeah white yeah. man white devil oh red man actually <laughs> rod man part macho Cherokee. man part Cherokee macho man macho man okay what are we talking um, about <laughs> well I wanted to pick a Christmas movie that's really special to me yeah home alone homo alone Homo, um, homo alone? <laughs> homo alone? <laughs> That's me when I'm by myself. Uh, you. I, uh, <laughs> I got turned on. Tur- I got turned up to this movie turned up? a few years ago Yeah. Um, by someone because I said, um, give me a good movie to watch. And you, because I they're never... a piece of crap, they made me watch this. And it's it a, is called Love it's, Actually. It's okay movie. I like it. It's... A, a like it? A like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I've been watching a lot of Vanos because of you. Yeah, I know. It's, he's gaming. so good. Uh, he's, he's good. He's all right. Anyways, so. <laughs> he's Canadian. Yeah, represent. Good mythical Manitoba morning. That's like too many M's, though. That's you, like G-M-M-M. I'm going to be Link and you're going to be Rhett. I'm you not need even, to be eight feet tall. I'm not even tall. Okay, so we're going to like play. What are we gonna We're going to play a game called. Love actually the game. <laughs> so I have like the Wikipedia page open, and it has all the all the all the like stories because it's got like eight stories in here because this movie's got eight stories to deal with it, and it just has the name of the characters, and you have to guess which story it is. Yes. So the call names. in. Call in. <laughs> this isn't a live show. Oh, I'll guess. Okay, you guess. Okay, uh, first one: Billy Mac and Joel. Well. Since you sort of, we were already discussing this earlier. Yeah, a little bit. That is um, played by the awesome Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, he is amazing. He Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> he uh, he's awesome because he's like he was like in um, uh, in the Underworld. Johnny Depp movie Ooh. and Underworld. Under- oh, it is the same guy. Okay, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the he was the he was one of the most he besides. Was... Besides the super hot... Christian Bale. <laughs> sure. <laughs> she, the girl in it is just, I'm totally in love with her, but I don't, I can't remember who she is. Something, something. Something, something, Kristen Sturt. And um, Bill Nye is in it, and he is an awesome. He's awesome in this He movie. is the awesome? He's the, I'm pretty sure that's what you said. the awesome. Yes. And so in this movie, Love Actually... All right. He plays a dr- druggy, uh, burnt out, aging uh, rock star. Yes. Not unlike um, uh, Rolling Stones guy or something. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe he was. Maybe he was like one of those kind of like yeah. really cool uh, singers Michael back Jackson. in the sixties or seventies, and then. He hasn't had a kid, I guess. 70s. And the other guy is his, um, I guess, agent slash producer slash best slash only friend in the world. Yeah, something like that. And the cool thing about Bill Nye is he opens the movie and he ends the movie. And I told you that the movie revolves around him. No. And you said I'm full of poo. You are. Abs- this is like... Call in if you agree with me. This, this one isn't even like a, a love story, though. This is just like... It's a love story between two men's testicles. Well, it says at the end that they just get drunk and watch porn. Don't you remember at the end when Bill Nye rests his head on the manager's testicles and the manager goes, 
No homo. There. <laughs> he goes, there, there, no homo. I remember that. Okay. I, you remember a lot of things. Yeah. Juliet, Peter, and Mark. Juliet, Peter, and Mark. Well, is this the one with um, Andrew Lincoln? Yes. Yes! Because <laughs> so, I'm trying to think about who is the, who is the one. So this is the one where the oh, that was Kira guy Knightley. marries the hot Kira Knightley yeah. and invites Andrew Lincoln in for a threesome. No. And they and the they end story. up they end up they end up No sexing her to death. Sexing her. <laughs> and then they cut up the body and hide it. And then Andrew That would Lincoln. make a much more interesting story than this one, but Yeah, I you know what? That's probably one of the roma- romantic the m- m- most most Moost. <laughs> romantic scene ever with Andrew Lincoln, with the, who with the cue cards, who hasn't worked since that movie, and now he's in The Walking Dead, and some people Dead think a he's a British guy faking a Southern accent, but the truth is he was a Southern guy faking a British accent. That's completely false. <laughs> <laughs> I can just I can just look up what nationality he is, and I could Lincoln. He's American, obviously. I, he's okay. he's actually. He's actually the son-in-law of Abe Lincoln, believe it or not. Spelled the same. Yeah, Lincoln. I yeah. don't believe Lincoln. that, though. Wow. And his Internet father was responsible for creating garbage. the uh, Lincoln Log. <laughs> okay. Which, one of those came out of my I don't know. Would rear you, end would earlier you, today. Would you say that um, that story is probably the best one, maybe? That one? Yeah. Um... Yeah, Lon- he, was born no. in, he, he was born in London, England. If I had to rate the stories, I'd rate um, Bill Nye up there. Really? Um, <laughs> I'd say that's probably the Bill worst Nye, one. Bill Nye, man, he's like, oh, he's, man. It's the bow tie and the science, yeah, okay. I get I'd, it. Rate, I'd rate this one. Uh, I'll rate them after we're done going through okay. them. But, but the thing with the signs, saying he's in love with the okay. girl, everybody's crying, and now Andrew Lincoln is out hunting. Zombies. Zombies. And just yelling a lot. Coral! 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 Okay. So. <laughs> That's one of the jokes. Uh, I'm dying in... So- no, he just like, tells jokes to Coral, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm dad jokes. inside. Kay. Coral! Next one. Coral! Dead inside! Okay, <laughs> next one. Jamie and Aurelia. Okay, this one also I kind of know, because this is the ever dull Colin Firth. Mm-hmm. And some unless, cutie... Unless it's Kingsman. Yes, some cutie Asian chick. Now... Uh, Asian? I don't know. She's... If it's she's not... Portuguese. If she's not from America, she's, Portuguese. she's Asian. You racist? <laughs> Lucia Mon is... Only her native tongue. And Colin Firth, I don't really care for him too much... He's not interesting he's... unless he's getting shot in the head in Kingsman. That's awesome. Really? I, I, uh, he was pretty cool Sorry in about Kingsman. that. My nose is stuffy. Yeah, I can tell. <coughs> we're in Canada. It's always cold here. Um, We're outside. And <laughs> he was really awesome in Kingsman, Colin Firth. Remember? He's like, uh, well, he killed all those people. Manners maketh man. And then he like, kills everyone. I don't everyone. think that's exactly the quote, but sure. sure. And <laughs> in that story... This is like... He... There, the thing about this movie is all the all the characters are intertwined. Kind of, in some. They're either way. related or they know each other. I don't other, remember so. how this one is intertwined, though. I thought it felt this more, one. Yeah, Colin Firth is related to a chick in one of the other ones, and it's her sister or relative or something, which ends up cheating on Colin Firth because Colin Firth's wife cheats on him. Breaks so his this heart. This is incredibly complicated. Yeah, and then he goes away to write his book, and ends up getting rapey with this with this foreign chick, Portuguese chick who can't speak English. Can't speak English. He basically has her out in the mountains, he, sort of like in The Shining. He had her in like a cabin. All his papers flew into the water, and she like stripped down to get them. And he was like, blah, blah, blah. he threw her in the water. He basically tore her clothes off, threw her in the water. And he's like, get in my bed. Basically, he starts out as a really nice guy, yeah. and by the end of it, and he's just, he's just, he's got her tied up. And then he's he beating and her. And then he learned. Oh, what? That's messed up. And then he learned uh, Portuguese, and she learned English, and it was, that's it. 
And that's pretty much the end of that story. And that was probably the best story in the movie. No. No. So, okay. <laughs> next one. Harry, Karen, and Maya. Harry. Harry, Karen, and Maya. Okay, that is the one with Hans Gruber in it. Yes. Severus Snake. Severus Snake <laughs> slash... Um, we understand we're pronouncing that purposefully incorrect. No, we're not. Um, um, he, do you know I loved Emma Thompson. him? Can't remember his name. Rowan Atkinson was in this movie? Yeah. But he was in... Alan Rickman? Yeah, Alan Rickman. <laughs> he was in Dogma. Yes, he was. He was the Metatron. Yes, yes, he was. And he was awesome in that. He was pretty oh, good. I am the Metatron. I think he was drunk in that through Probably. the whole movie. Probably. Well, the Kevin Smith movie. I'm pretty yeah, sure everyone's, work with everyone's either drunk or he high. He had to work with Kevin Smith, who, you know, can't seem to work with anyone properly except <laughs> Bruce Willis. And well, uh, the, yeah. the, the Metatron. <laughs> <laughs> and he's awesome in this. And this is, he yeah. ends up potentially... See, some say he cheated on his wife because he was giving this hot secretary really expensive things and gave his wife a shitty CD. <laughs> but it's every man's did, duty. Did the CD happen to be that, that guy's uh, Christmas album? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> that's a good way to... to... Uh, intertwine it. You know what? That would have been a brilliant idea, but he, he gave her a Joni Mitchell CD. Oh. So he should have given her this guy's crappy Christmas, you know? <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. That's how he sounds. Uh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I feel it in my dick. <laughs> dick. My... my <laughs> My ass is old and scabby. All right, so yeah. Won't you put some lotion on it? That one's kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of meh. Should we move on to the next one? I guess. Let it snow. Okay, okay. I'm not done with that one. All right, fine. Keep going then. Every man has a duty <laughs> <laughs> to get the hottest chick the best gift. <laughs> if the hottest chick isn't your wife or girlfriend. Pfft, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> this is <laughs> terrible advice. The woman has, to, the wife you, has to understand. You heard her place. it here first, folks. Just buy random attractive women gifts, and they will possibly love you. Yes. Okay. Don't don't judge people based on their race, their race, or or that sort of stupid thing. Judge them based on how fat and ugly they are. Right. <laughs> So we're gonna lose our twelve subscribers. You're like a zero, <laughs> unless you're one of our subscribers. Then uh, I then I don't mean you. You're maybe like a four. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the next one is like David <laughs> and Natalie. <laughs> David and Natalie. Yes. Ooh, ooh, that one is the prime minister. Yes. And his assistant. That was a good one. Everybody likes Huge Grant. And <laughs> Huge. Grant. He. <laughs> Do you know that Hugh he? Grant. Do you know that he ended up Happy getting a prostitute and Bob being Thornton. shamed? I don't care who wouldn't get a prostitute. You're the one who, who just wouldn't? said. You, yeah, you're the one who just said. He's the prime minister. He can yeah. do whatever he wants. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's like the actual prime. Minister. I think she was a transvestite, but I don't know. Um, and Billy nice. Bob Thornton plays the president, which is really weird. He, he's the U.S. Pre- he's bad Santa and the U.S. president. Yeah, he's at the same he's time. he's a real deal. In this movie, I, I don't know what. That's what the, that's what the kids are saying these days. Deal. I and, haven't I haven't ran into a single person who's ever used that. And uh, so, the dill pickle. <laughs> and so, Hugh <clears throat> Grant ends up falling for this girl. Yes. And he's not married, and it's kind of a no-no. But then he doesn't care in the end. Yes. He's like, I'm just gonna get it on. So it's like a it's like a Bill Clinton Monica Lewinsky thing, where <laughs> she's like you know she's like really young. They like kiss. He's like fifty and she's like fourteen. They kiss like on on the stage and then the thing goes up and yeah, then everyone sees them kissing. Yeah, because she's doing her she's doing her junior high play at the time, and uh, he announces he announces his love for this little girl. I don't th- and mm, it's beautiful. I thought I thought she was the the teacher. Maybe. I 
pretty sure she was the She's teacher. not a student? I don't think so. Oh, that'd probably be weird then. So that was a good one. So, what's next? Daniel, Sam, Joanna, and Carol. Carl. Car- Carl! Carl! Da- Diana? Daniel. Daniel? Sam. Sam? Joanna. Huh? And Carol. Is that that stupid British guy and all those hot chicks? No. I don't think so. Okay, let me think here. Who else is in this movie? God. Who else is in this movie? He's really important, and we'll find you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Yes. Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon Razzlegul. <laughs> what? He... Oh, I get what you did there. Yeah, he... I see what you did there. His wife just died... Yep. And so this is one of the only movies where he's trying to act. I think so. And <laughs> in the movie, his wife dies, and his son is taken, and yeah. he's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I don't think he was taken. I wasn't listening to what you were saying, and I just said, yeah. His was the second weakest <laughs> story. <laughs> According to Family Guy. According to Family Guy. Yes, and his son is a son has got a very bad hairdo. Thomas Sankster. And Sankster. And sounds really funny. The son falls for a another girl named another Joanne. girl who's the same that's name as his guy. wife. Oh, that's, except that kid is the kid. The in... husband and the kid are white and the girl is black and the whole the rest of the movie is the father trying to convince the son not to go out with a black girl that's because not, it's against that's God's against laws of nature. So that kid um he's the kid in Maze Runner. Like, one of the actors in Maze Runner. Wow. Wow. I just... I care so much. Yeah. And it wasn't... Maze Runner Balls are dropping. Maze Runner wasn't good. I, I didn't it. even see it. I. It's not that great. You saw it? Yeah, it's not that great. Oh, wow. Why'd yeah. you buy the box set then? I didn't. You actually. went out and you bought the box set twice you and bought the video game. porn. All right. <laughs> all right. So... <laughs> yeah, but no homo. <laughs> Let's with all the farming it's not, calendars. It's not gay to... It's not gay to contribute. To stuff. <laughs> to gay stuff. <laughs> so, so what's the next thing? <laughs> yeah, and so it's just lean. Let's Neeson. move on. Okay, Sarah. <laughs> C- Carl with Carl. a Carl. Carl with a K, and Michael. Carl. Sarah, Carl, and Michael. Yeah. Is this the porn thing? Mm, hold on. American worker at Harry's graphic design company. No. What? Is this the white kid with the chicks? No. I don't know what this is. It's the one where... uh, the How many stories is in this movie? I only thought there was five. There's eight, apparently. I only ever paid attention to a few of them. Uh, Okay, Carl uh, stops by to say goodnight. Carl! Wait, they finally connect at the Christmas party, and he drives her home, and they finally kiss, however, before much else can occur, they are interrupted by a phone call from her brother, Michael, from the mental care facility where he's cared for. And this is, like, the only one that doesn't end well. Yeah, this this one shouldn't have been in the movie. Why? It shows the love between, um, a sister and her brother. No. This is the one between that two co-workers, and they're like, I love you, but then that one girl's, like, way too committed to her brother. Yeah, because she loves him. No, because she cares, she has to, like, care for him, because he's mentally ill. But she doesn't love him. No. Can't you love your family? You can, but on the, the way you were implying, you <laughs> sick freak. You're a freak! She, she <laughs> told the guy at one point, she says... You don't give it to me the way my brother does. And that was it. I don't think that was it at all. <laughs> she, she says, Moving you, on. She says, You don't kiss like my brother. I thought they were British. <laughs> James Bond. Okay, Colin, Tony, and Colin the American Fred. Girl. Oh, well, this one's obvious. Yeah, that's... That, that's, that one wasn't good. That's probably the That weakest. one was weak. That one was weak. Would you say it's the weakest? It's pretty weak. It's the weakest link, yeah. That one's pretty weak. John and Judy. The pornos. Uh, yes. I found that very weak. It was also I, very I, weak. I really did not like that at all. Okay, Rufus. Just Rufus. Apparently. Seriously. Apparently. Oh, that's it. And then Epi. Who's Rufus? Rufus? That's Rowan Atkinson. He's He's got his own thing in there? Apparently. That's stupid. That is stupid. Come on. He has like one thing in there. I guess that's it. 
And then there's the epilogue where everyone is happy. EpiPen, I like to call it. Yeah, EpiPen. Yeah, so those ones are weak. What's the strongest story then? Besides Bill Nye. Yeah, you... I don't think that one's good at all, the Bill Nye one. So then Liam Neeson's isn't the second weakest. No. No, probably not. It's probably in the middle. It's he's somewhere around there. Bill Nye's got to be up there. No, it's okay. It's not great. The only ones I really like is Bill Nye. I like the Andrew Lincoln Liam one. Liam Neeson. Andrew Lincoln. Uh, Come on! Classic scene with the uh, cue cards. I know. I cry every time I watch that. Yeah, that's why it's so good. But it's not because it's good. It's because... It's sad because it's good. He had so many opportunities just to drug her. I mean, come on. That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. He took the nice guy route. Where did like, that get him? Cue cards. Should have shot her in the head before she turned. You know what they should do in Walking Dead? Uh. There should be a cue card scene. Wouldn't that be awesome? The zombie? Yes. <laughs> so he's got this... I just wanted to tell you, because of the cue, that I've come here to kill you and stab. Stabby. Stab? Stab. All right. Oh, I That's guess... our Christmas spectacular. Are we going to rate this movie or is that it? Oh. Well, whoa. I, I give it like an eight. Eight tukes. Yeah, uh, I like it. Yeah. I guess I give it like a 7.5 yeah, out of 10. Yeah, because we're old romantics. Yeah, no, this is one of the few good romantic movies that are bearable. I think so. Bearable think for so. men, I guess. I think so. Yes. And Tony Curtis directed it, by the way. Tony Curtis? <laughs> I don't think it was Tony Curtis. <laughs> is it Tony Curtis? Wait, Tony? He's an actor. Tony Curtis. Come on. Did I close? Oh, Tony I closed Curtis. it. Hold on. Hold on. I got to find it again. Oh, and what's his face died too. Uh, Robert Loja. R, as in <laughs> Robert, Robert Loja. Loja. Richard R- Curtis, not Tony <laughs> Curtis. Great actor. Richard Curtis. Loja. Richard Curtis. Look up Tony Curtis. He's got a serious case of tiny face. Like, his face is way too small. Like look. His body might be too big. Haven't you ever look heard of that? his tiny face. He might, have the, he might have a human-sized face and just a really big body. It's possible. I think he just has a tiny face. Tony Curtis... Has done Richard Curtis Bean, <laughs> Richard Curtis, and the actual director. Five funerals and a wedding, which is another really good huge Grant movie. I don't think I've seen that one. You gotta see it then. All right, well then that's it. All right, that's it. Peace out, yo. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Peace out, yo. What bye. era are we from? <laughs> yo bye. Yo bye.